Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to discuss with you on the PSRE Math 2021 Paper 2, Question 17. This is my suggested solution for Question 17. The last question of this paper, 2021 Paper 2. This is a strategy that I am adopting. And this is the question 17. It is a rate question involving rate and volume. And there are two tabs. Tab A is filling up the container. And tab B is draining. So for the first tab, tab A, all right, the rate is not given. Uh, it, is, it is given. So the rate is always written in per minute. So in one minute, tap A can fill the tank 4.2 liters of water. So the rate of tap A is 4.2 liters per minute. What about tap B? For tap B, we have to find the rate. Okay, so tap B, finding the rate is part A. Okay, so the rate of A is here. All right, so I'm going to move on to the new slide to show you how I go about solving this question. Okay, I wish to solve this question using a table. So I'm going to tabulate my work. All right, so it looks like this. So I have the duration here. Duration means the time. Okay, now remember, time is involved in this question, right? So to do this question, we have to always bear in mind the rate. So we have to do both concurrently. Okay, All right. So, in the question, we know that at 2 o'clock, so let's say at 2 p.m., I'm going to draw one line here, tab A was turned on. So, I have tab A here. I have tab B here. And I have the volume of water a pardon me volume of water in the tank right now so we know that the rate of tap a is 4.2 liters per minute so only at 2 p.m the tap is turned on so no volume there's no water yet so no action from tab A, no action from tab B. All right, now the tab A was turned on at 2 and water flowed from A. Then at 5 p.m., tab B was turned on. It's right, 5 minutes later. So 5 minutes later means 2.05 p.m. So from here to here is 5 minutes. Okay, all right, so what does it mean? It means that the rate of A, let me write down again, is 4.2 liters per minute. And the rate of B we are going to find. Okay, so the amount of water in tap A after 5 minutes will be 4.2 liters times 5. So 4.2 liters times 5 gives us 21 liters. And this is going into the tank. So I'm going to put a plus sign because it's topping up. Now, nothing is happening to tap B because it is still off. So the amount of water in the tank is now 21 liters. Okay, now what is happening to tap B? Tap B is in action very soon. At 
2.15. So 2.15 p.m. That B is at work. Okay, let's settle that B. So at 2.15, that B is turned on. So from here to here, it is actually 10 minutes. Okay, so let's settle that A first. 10 minutes means 4.2 liters times 10. That is our 42 liters is being added. And what is what about tab B? We are needed to solve this. So I'm going to leave a very big box there for us to fill in. Okay. Now, the water in the tank is 21 liters at first, right? Then we have water coming in from tap A after 10 minutes and then it will be drained minus sign means it will be drained by tap B so I'm going to draw a box for tap B so drained this amount by tap B and it became half of the tank now what is half of the tank? so I'm going to do it here now the tank capacity, okay, the tank capacity, that means the maximum amount of water the tank can feed, can, can hold. So the capacity of the tank is volume length, which is 55, times breadth, that's 30, times height, that's 20. Towards, that means capacity means to the brim without spillage. Right, so the capacity of the tank is actually 3300 ml. Sorry, 33,000. 33,000. So 33000 ml if you use a calculator. Now, 33,000 ml is similar to 33 liters of the conversion. Okay, now we need half of the tank. So half. Of the tank half of 33 liters is actually our 16.5 liters so this is 16.5 liters after a and b are in action so we can actually find what is the volume of water draining by tap b okay so I'm going to work it out for you. So to do, to find this, to find this box, what we need to do is to use part hole concept. Right? The part hole concept on this. Okay? Alright. So it means that we have to do a working backwards concept. So to do a working backwards concept, what we need to do is we take 21 liters plus 42 liters okay that gives us 63 liters so the empty box is actually 63 liters subtract 16.5 liters that gives us 46.5 liters so 46.5 liters is actually being drained by b my apple and minus sign here is being drained by b so 46.5 liters drained by b in 10 minutes so that will give us the answer for part a so i'm going to do part a here so to do part a 10 minutes that B can drain 46.5 liters. So in one minute, tap B can drain 46.5 liters divided by 10. That is simply 4.65 liters. So the capacity of tap B is found. That means question A is found. 4.65 liters per minute. This is part A. Okay, so the part A answer is here. Done. Okay, 
let's move on to part B. So I'm going to complete the table. So for part B, right, they ask us at 2.30 p.m. So the info is 2.30 p.m. So at 2.30 p.m., we have the duration of 15 minutes. So 15 minutes, part A, tap A contributes. So 4.2 liters times 15. So tap A contributes 63 liters. So it's a plus sign. Contribute means plus sign. So water goes into the tank. 63 liters went into the tank. What about tap B? We already know tap B straight, right? So 4.65 liters multiplied by 15 because it's 15 minutes. So tap B drains 69.75 liters of water. So drain, I put a minus sign. Okay, so this is filling in. This is removing. Okay, now, so what is the water in the tank at 2.30 p.m.? So again, water at first, at, sorry, water at 2.15 p.m. is 16.5 liters. Top up by A, 63 liters. Drained by B, 69.75 liters. That will give us 9.75 liters. So this is the final amount of water in the tank at 2.30 p.m. Okay, now I'm going to finish up part B very soon. So I'm going to get rid of this because I need a space. So I'm going to use this space to do my part B. Okay, so my part B, I'm going to use red. Okay, so to do part B, what I need to do is I, use, I need to use the total capacity. So they ask us what fraction of the tank was filled with water. So the water in the end has 9.75 liters. And if you can remember, the capacity is 33 liters. So if you use a calculator, key in this fraction, 9.75 out of 33, you should get a fraction which is 13 out of 44. So part B is done. Feel free to play back my video, all right, so that you can have a better understanding of how to go about solving question 17. Now, I've completed the entire paper 2 of PSRE 2021. The next video that I, the videos that I'll be uploading will be on PSRE 2020 paper 2. So, Remember to get notified by subscribing, okay, so that you get notified of all my videos uploaded in the YouTube. And if you like my today's sharing on how to go about solving question 17 using tabulation, all right, remember to give me a thumbs up and do share with interested parties. Till then, thank you for watching. Thank you for your valuable support, your continuous support. Take care and goodbye.